Keys and bubbles, everybody down here. Now it's live against these guys. Here we go. Here, I need this, I need this. I don't need a waistband. I, uh, right here, right here, watch my hips go down. My hips go down and then I explode through. All right, go on, get to 15, shape it. Good timing, Chris, all right? When he comes out of it, ball should be halfway there. I think wide receiver is the funnest position to play in football. You get to run around and you get to catch the ball. Uh, and, and if you can't have fun playing that position, something's wrong with you. And, and the, the message that I had since the first day I was here is, men, do you love football? And if you love football, you are going to run all day and dive after every ball and run back to the huddle because all you want to do is what? Play the next play. All right, now it could be short. What do we do when it's short? Highest point. Go. Catch it over the outside. Oh, you're not good enough for one. Reach with two. Go get him, Dayon. There's the block, Dayon. Great job. See what you can do on the key? Huh? See the block you can make on the key? That's the way to go. To see them where they were when I first got here and how they've taken command of the position and have taken every role, whether it's blocking, whether it's at the point of attack as the as the main receiver, as a backside receiver, trying to get someone else open, every aspect of their game, they're, they're making it important. And that's becoming a complete team player, and that's what leaders do, and that's what mature players do. So it's been a huge plus to have those guys, because this is their last shot, and they realize it. And they realize this is their last go around, and they're going to make it their best, and they're playing like that. Shoulder, get your head up, all right? Accelerate your feet, sell out. Let's have a sell out. We got nine practices. We don't have one crack block yet. Give me a last shove, 80. Give me a last shove, 80. Give me a last shove, 80. Last shove. Perfect angle, Mo. That's good. Now just take your hands and go low to high. All right, so you're right underneath that armpit. All right? In the run game, we have to handle the force. All right? And a big part of that is wide receiver blocking. We work on it every day. All right, they are going to learn to block and know the importance of it and how we fit into the run game. That's better, Andrew. Way to reach with your hands together. Go! We're going to throw the ball down the field in the seam, and the receivers are a big part of that, so they have to know everything about that. Where to be versus single high, where to be versus two deep, and that's a big emphasis. And the other big emphasis along with that is coming off the ball. we got to get down the field if we're going to throw the ball vertically. Good, Kev, stem up. Good, nice job. Violent with the right hand now. Violent with the right hand. Good, see that's the way to make him cross over. That's the angle we want, 21. If you do it right, you don't even need your arm. If you let one little thing go by, then it's two and then it becomes a big thing. So they have to understand that their hand placement on a release, if they miss, they are gonna get jammed and not gonna be open. So it really is, a big thing. And uh, those releases and your hand placement are, are critical. Your stance is critical. Where you line up is critical. What you see prior to the snap is critical because then you'll know what you're going to do at the top of your route instead of being surprised by the cover. By the end of the camp, I want this. Hey, JG, I'm not tired. I'm not coming out when there's 10 in a row. All right? Okay? Are we good? All right? When you think you're hurt, you can go one more play. All right? When you think you're tired, just one more play. 